In this class, I will cover why did we create Cololab in the first place. You've probably seen that Cololab is an application that is allowing you to very quickly create looks, but these looks are particular in a way that the looks that you create with Cololab are also called show lots. Now, in order to understand why we need show lots, let's have a look in how production has changed in the recent years and why is it that we need a look development very early on in a stage of production. This is what we call a standard workflow that was a practice that we had you know, before we entered the stage of column managed workflow. So what we used to do is we used to just shoot and you know, like try to get to look as good in camera as possible. Then that material would get exported into a lab with a setting that whatever setting we had in a camera, then this would get edited. And then very often editor would get used to this look together with a director and then that would come to grading and only then in color grading suite at the end of the process, we would then start applying and creating a look to the production. And then we would go and we would create a master. Usually we would have to deliver only one master. However, things have changed today. And what we have to do now is we have to develop the look for the show already at the beginning. Now, we certainly don't have to do this, but if we do it, it is much better. And because it's better, it has become a standard today that instead of just shooting with your camera with whatever setting you have in it, you also apply a look to it. And this look is created with color lab so that this look has to be created so that it can manage the whole process. That means we have to know exactly for what camera is created and what is the final master we have to create. Only so this look can be applied in camera on set, then burned into the dailies in a lab during the dailies creation, then during editing, director and editor would see already, you know, well looking and graded dailies. Then in a color grading process, a colorist could start already with a very good developed look. And that would also allow him or her to master to several versions because we have color managed in that way we can basically translate these looks to different color spaces, i.e. different masters. So the way how look is created is in following way. We have to basically apply several color transformations in a row and then burn them together or put them together into a single file, into a single LUT. However, if you want to work in a color managed way, we have to apply transformation in particular order. So this order is that on color transform one, we would change the input profile for our look. That means we would have to know what is the color space from the camera we're working in. And there we would change it into our known color space that we are using for mathematical transformations. Then we would apply, first of all, a contrast transformation. So we have to apply special attention to the development of look through control of contrast. Then we're going to go and apply a color transformation or a color palette. And uh, this palette is usually how we're going to add like character to the look, how we're going to bring the emotion. Okay. And then the last transformation in a row has to be always the output transformation. So that is going to guarantee that no matter in what post-production studio or visual effects studio or on a camera on set this show that was to be used, we will know that the output that this show that is giving is exact color space that we need to work in in order to be able to calibrate it to understand exactly what we are doing. So we would take all of these transformations in a row, put them together and export them effectively as a 3D LUT. That look that we have then created, we came up with, we call a show LUT. And this show LUT then is used for the whole movie, for the whole commercial or for the whole TV series. You're using only one LUT because with that, one is able to affect the image in a such a way or cinematographer is using the LUT almost as its print stock as something with a characteristic. There is a great thing about the show that it gives us a lot of characteristic, but it doesn't give us any flexibility. It means it's completely locked. A show LUT is a show LUT. We can't change the look of the LUT without not opening the lookup table, changing it and saving it again. So in order 
to add the flexibility to the look that is completely locked, what we need to do is we need to add a CDL transformation or a primary color correction in front. And with that, we're going to start to achieve the flexibility of being able to adjust the look from shot to shot or from scene to scene. So this is the only thing that is changing. The look always stays the same. However, as long as the CDL is applied in front of the light, we are going to have a huge flexibility to how we're going to be able to affect the look of our image. So to summarize, not every look and 3D lookup table is a show light. In order for the look to be a show light, it has to fulfill certain requirements. Number one, it has to be made for a particular camera color space and particular camera gamma. It means it has to control its input. All contrast and color transformation inside the look must be done in a such a way that they don't damage the quality of an image but preserve it. And number three, it has to be made for a particular color space calibration that we're going to be working in and monitoring in. Only then a look can be a show light.